I'm glad you asked about Whatnot. Whatnot is a safe and easy place to buy and sell your Funko Pops and Fig Pins. So no more worrying about that guy in his mom's basement saying, I'm gonna scam him all the day. <laughs> so whether you're a buyer or a seller, Whatnot has you covered with key features such as the ease of listing items so easy an unborn child could do it. They have low seller fees, they have cheap shipping, and they even have an authenticity guarantee guaranteed to knock those scammers out of the park. Oh, and did I mention guys, they give away grails weekly, so make sure you guys check out Whatnot via my link down below. Hey, do you work here? I have a quick question about a Funko Pop that came out the other day. Huh? Oh no, I just stand here and I stock these shelves for free because I just like to. Ah, good joke. But anyways, I have a question about a Target exclusive. I was wondering if you still had it by chance. I know it sold out the other day I was here, but I was wondering if you maybe got some in or if it's in your system still and maybe you have some in the back. I don't know. Could you check for me? Wait, you just said it just sold out the other day. It Anyways, what's the DPCI for the item? Oh yeah, the DCPI is 897-8982. So hopefully that brings up something for you. All right, let me just put this down and look that up for you. So 8982. Um, it is showing that we have none in stock and none in the back. Huh. Yeah, sorry, we don't have anybody. See, I know you're saying that it's not in the system and it wouldn't be in the back. However, I would really, really appreciate it if you looked in the back. It's not going to bother me if it's not back there, but if you would double check, that would really, really make me feel better. All right, I'm telling you right now, since the scanner shows that it is not in stock, it's not going to be back there. I'm telling you right now, it's just going to be a waste trip for me. It's going to be a waste of your time, a waste of my time. I can go check for you, but I promise you it's not going to be back there. So give, just, just give me one second. All right, so I just came from the back and it is actually not back there. I apologize so much, even though I just told you that it was not going to be back there. Okay, so you're seriously telling me that this Funko Pop is not in the back? Really? You're going to tell me that it's not in the back? You're going to tell me that it, they all sold out the other day and you guys aren't just keeping them in the back for yourselves? I am so sick of Target employees doing this. They always keep them for themselves just so they can resell them later. I am, I'm just unbelievably sick of this. I'm telling you right now, we don't hold anything in the back. There is no reason for us to hold anything to, in the back. We don't even have access to it yet to be able to buy it yet. It is all street dated. It all comes out on the same day. So there's no possible way that we could buy it. So I apologize that it's not here for you, but we're not buying it and reselling it. No, no, you don't have to explain yourself. Can I see a manager, please? All right, guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed that skit. Make sure to leave a like down below if you did. Um, this is just me trying to introduce other types of videos um, and new little skits like that. So if you guys want to see more skits, make sure to comment down below some other types of skits that you would like to see, whether it be like Hot Topic, Box Lunch, uh, Books A Million, things like that. I'd love to do more skits. I, I actually genuinely enjoy doing the skits. I think I enjoy doing the skits um, like right along next to like Funko Pop hunts and reviews and things like that. But I feel like skits, they're just like, it's like a challenging thing to like make something so humorous about something that's like, you know, it's just like, we're just talking about like little figures. So it's more of a challenge and I, I like really, really enjoy it, I guess. So if you guys really laughed, um, I appreciate you guys. Let me know down below. Um, cause I, I, I just love to make people laugh. So when I do these skits, um, nothing's ever serious. I don't have any grudges against these stores or things like that. So please, because everybody took the GameStop one a little too serious. I even had a GameStop employee apologize to me and I was like, why are you? No, don't apologize. I mean, I've had bad experiences with GameStop, but it's just, it was, it was a joke. It was a joke, but everybody took it so seriously in the comments. I was like, geez, yeesh. But anyways, if you had some horror stories with Target, drop down below. Um, so like I said, this, it's just meant for fun, guys. So nobody take it too seriously, hopefully. Um, but anyways, I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon subscribers. You guys are absolutely legendary. And I really, really appreciate you guys' support. Seriously, if you guys want to check out the Patreon, you can. Join the Patreon squad. A lot of cool things going on over there. Make sure to join all my other social medias as well, like my Facebook group. Join the Discord as well. Really, really awesome community. A lot of cool friends you can make over there. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you guys want updates on the channel, updates on the collection, things like that. I'd really, really appreciate it. But anyways, that's it. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Bye.